This morning in Florida, an Atlas V rocket will try once again to launch Boeing's Starliner capsule. The mission to the International Space Station has been plagued by delays. Some are recent, others go back years. It's a critical mission for the astronauts and the ground crew with Boeing's battered reputation, which will be on the line along with this launch. Mark Strassman is keeping an eye on the countdown clock for us this morning at the Kennedy Space Center. Mark, good morning. Hey, Nate, good morning to you. Here we go again, right? This is uh, NASA's uh, and Boeing's third attempt to launch this uh, spacecraft just in the last month. And right now, two NASA astronauts are strapping into the capsule. Want to show you now images. This is launch pad uh, 41. And these are the two astronauts, uh, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams from high above launch pad 41. They're in the Starliner capsule for what they hope will be a day long ride to the space station where they're going to spend at least a week. Earlier this morning, the two fa uh, space veterans, both former Navy test pilots suited up, said their goodbyes to their families. This is a milestone moment for them, for Boeing and for NASA, the first crewed flight of a next generation spacecraft. Only the sixth time in NASA history that the space agency has ever put astronauts aboard a new spacecraft for the first time. Boeing designed and built Starliner, but it's years behind schedule, more than a billion dollars over budget. A series of technical mistakes and setbacks is to blame, software issues, jam valves, parachute problems, just to name a few. But the mindset here for everyone involved is that you never launch until convinced it's safe to do so. And Williams and Wilmer told us they have full confidence in Boeing. So here we are, Boeing, hoping it's finally going to join SpaceX as the second space taxi to the ISS. And that's what NASA wants is options. Weather conditions here in Florida look good. If all continues to go well with this countdown, we're now less than three hours away from launch. Gail? Let's hope it all goes according to plan. You know, they always say three's the charm. Let's see. Hope so. Mark Straussman, always good to see you. Thank you, sir.